you were saying about uh, about Spain. Yeah, well, about Spain. So uh, <clears throat> when I came back, I happened to meet a Colonel Riley, R Riley, R A A L E Y, and I was telling him about this awful attack on 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 the Spanish Republic. And I said, and, and about the worst of all uh, is, uh, is the New York Times. I said, look, you, they have two correspondents there. Uh, first of all, they did, they did one of the, uh, I, I've never heard of a trick like, of a thing like this being done before. They had a man named Carney, and uh, he, he was asked to leave Spain by the Republic because he was such an awful liar. So he went back to New York and immediately he was sent back to Spain, but to Franco's side. Now, I never heard of a man being on both sides, you know. Well, he started uh, 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 writing his usual falsehoods. I remember one day, uh, uh, oh, Matthews was always showing us telegrams that he was getting from... Um, I guess it was Edwin L. James, managing editor. Uh, why do you say that there are that there are Italian troops in Spain when Carney says there aren't any? Well, we so we went out to where the prisoners' camps were. And we talked to, and we found 1,200 Italian prisoners that had been taken. And they said, yes, that Mussolini had sent 100,000 infantry to Spain. And that was the main, the bulk of Franco's army was all foreigners, you know, like, like, like Italian fascists. And his entire air fleet was, was Russian was German, Nazis. Nazis sent every squadron there to get war, war, uh, uh, and every newspaper man knew what was coming, that, that, uh, that Hitler was preparing for war with the world, and he was training his aviation for it. And I think every newspaper man, including Matthews and uh, everybody, wrote an article like that. Nobody paid any attention to us. So that was that item. Then one day, Carney came out with a big story from Franco's side saying, Franco cuts last road to besiege Madrid. From now on, there'll be no more food, no more guns, nothing. We were pretty well starving there, you know. I mean, for a year and a half, I didn't have meat or fish or vegetables or fruit. Can you believe it? For a year and a half, I lived on, on rice and uh, bread and potatoes. That's about all we had. Uh, of course, uh, in uh, in uh, Valencia, the, the the oranges that had fallen from the trees were a foot deep and rotting. But nobody there to pick them and and, and ship them. They, you know. So that's all there was. To, everybody was in the war.